0.70 I will stop accurate positioning okay now it's there so I'll just click stop accurate positioning so this is the coordinate of my position right now now to record this point okay to record this point in my software what I will do is I'll come down and click on this third icon with a plus okay once you click on it it will show you point label okay so for this let's say I call this point maybe point Q so I'll call it point Q I will just click on the good you can see a tick here I'll click on it I've added this point now after the point has been added you can find it here on the fourth icon if you are moving from the left but if you are moving from the right the first icon okay you tap on it you see your saved point Q hi guys welcome back to my channel survey world by Tessie Chuku Jifu. today I want to quickly show you how to pick a coordinate using mobile topography okay so to be able to do that the first thing you do is to download and install mobile topographer in your mobile phone after you've downloaded and installed the next thing to do is to set your coordinate system so to set the coordinate system you go up to your right and click on this first icon click on it then you scroll down to units your units should be in meters depending on your location and the acceptable units in your country or in your location so for me it's meters so i have meters selected already now the next thing is your geodetic reference system which is your coordinate system so for me for my country nigeria um we are making use of mina datum so i will choose mina 2008 UTM slash zone 31 to zone 33. So I will select that. Once you select, once you've selected your coordinate system, you now tap this very arrow to go back. So once you go back, you are now ready to pick your point. So to pick point, you click on survey. So once you click on survey, you wait for your satellites to be ready okay now you can see that they are ready you can see them up here the satellites that are available right now about four satellites now for you to pick your point where your focus should be on is on accurate position so to start accurate positioning you click on this circle this symbol here with circle okay you tap on it so once you tap on it, you can see that the accurate position starts reading. Now, as it's reading, you wait until your desired accuracy is achieved. Then you can now stop the accurate positioning. Okay. You can also turn on this auto button. So when you turn the auto button on, it will the software. What the software will do is to stop it automatically once a desired accuracy is reached okay so now we're still waiting so i have 0 0.74 here so once it gets to 0 0.70 i will stop accurate positioning okay now it's there so i'll just click stop accurate positioning so this is the coordinate of my position right now now to record this point okay to record this point in my software what i will do is i'll come down and click on this third icon with a plus okay once you click on it it will show you point label okay so for this let's say i call this point maybe point q so i'll call it point q i will just click on the good you can see a tick here i'll click on it i've added this point now after the point has been added you can find it here on the fourth 
icon if you are moving from the left but if you are moving from the right the first icon okay you tap on it you see your saved point q so you see the coordinates in wgs84 and in the coordinate system you have already set at the beginning so you see this is the wgs84 and then this is the mina that i sent mina down to zone 31 to 33 okay so this is how to do it this is how you pick your points when you're out there in the site with mobile topographer so guys please like this video subscribe share with your friends bring your friends to follow this page for more thank you so much see you in my next video Bye.